So now there's a, a leela, a message, message leela. Krishna is taking his evening dinner, or a bow, I would rather say, in Nandishwar, and a kinkri is there, with, right there, fanning him. So when it says, hey, kinkri, or even it says, Tulsi Mandri, and you can, you read about that, you should project yourself there, that I'm in Nandagram, I'm there in the evening, when Krishna's taking his evening meal, and all Nandabhav and all Upananda, all the, all the whole family, clan, whole clan of Nandabhav is there taking, and it's very subdued, and all the descriptions are going to go into the Lamrita. But the mantras are also there, because they have to be there, because they have to collect information, report what's Krishna doing, what's he doing, what's he feeling, this, that, and also specific information, which this purport will expand upon. So the King Kree is found, him. so you should think, I'm that King Kree, and Krishna is sitting on a raised platform on an asan, they have little asans, they sit on there's a dining platform. It's it's low. It's not high. It's like some Japanese restaurant or something. You know, like you know, they have these low tables, stuff like that. You sit on the floor on a little low choki. So it's something like that. And so the mantri's standing behind, not not being noticed, and she's fanning Krishna. Without being seen by anyone else, Krishna keeps his hand on that mandri, mandri's foot. So the, the Krishna's sitting, that's why I said it, so the, the Krishna's sitting on a small asana on the floor and there's a raised choki. Like, well, I'm sitting on the floor like on a little wooden asana. And it's, so it's just like this, I'm a little lower, you know, eating. You know, eating asana, choki they call it. So the, the mandri's got her foot right near where Krishna's eating. So Krishna, with his left hand, obviously he's eating with the right hand. So he, he grabs, he holds on to the Manjri's foot. This is nice. <laughs> so each, each line in these books you have to meditate on deeply and you get beautiful experiences. You may see many things also. Because these are realized, these are realized, these, these books and these descriptions of Tosi Manjri Das Goswami, they're full of ras and they're full of lila, but they're full of mercy. The mercy, you can imagine, you just imagine that in each page there's like a hand coming out of the page. You know, like a hand, a right hand coming to grab your hand. Some, like, some, say you're walking on, you're walking, uh, uh, say you're standing on a stage somewhere and someone comes and <laughs> grabs your hand and pulls you out. So in other words, they're, they're inviting us there's an invitation, every page is an invitation. Come, come, come enter the Lila. Come, let me take, take my hand, I'll come. Okay, now you fan, I, I'm, I'm doing some other say. You fan, oh, me, okay. Well, what do you do? Krishna, Krishna touched my feet and you go later. Krishna touched my feet, what do I do? Oh, you didn't know, you don't know. Then now you'll find out. So Krishna's touching the Kankari's foot with his hand in a way to communicate with her Will I meet my Priyaji tonight or not? So then the mandri places one toe on Krishna's sh Shams hand, indicating that a, that a meeting with Radharani will be possible. <laughs> it's like it's sign language, you know, so they, different, you know, they go like this or like that, you know, they have all these different expressions. Uh, you know, they go like this or <laughs> like that. Or, uh, so they have a whole communication system worked out beforehand. You know, if 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 I put my left, if I put my my right toe on your left hand, it means yes. If I put my pinky toe, it means no. If I put my middle toe, it means Mount Shivat. If I put my, you know, the middle, you know, ring toe, ring, ring finger toe, <laughs> whatever, it means this and that. So this is a really nice thing. So the mantri plays one toe indicating to me, this is the most excellent service. This is an example of Varadasya. He said, that's why he says, I don't want to be a psychic. because psychics can never do this. Psychics, first of all, can never be there. Because, you know, you show, say, Lita, what are you doing here? You show it out. These mantris, mantris, she doesn't even know their name. They just run around all over the place, you know. 
they're bathing Krishna, they bathe Krishna, the Manjris are bathing Krishna in the morning, and, and then and Krishna is playing with the Manjris, they're trying to paint his face, and you know, they, they have some, you know, he puts some, they put some dots on his face, and they lean down like that, and he takes the cloth and wipes the dots off. You know, like, and they, they, they hey, why don't I just put some dots here? No, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't put any dots. Go, okay, let me do it. <laughs> so he plays with them. And then and, and Yeshua comes in the bed. Are you in any dress yet? Hurry up, Chris. Hurry up, you girls, hurry up. Why are you t taking so long? Hurry up. And they're innocent, but Krishna's detained and just to play with them. <laughs> and finally they get him done. And so then they run back to run around and say, He did this. Oh, he did this. He did that. And, oh, and what did you do? And I did. I didn't this, that. So the Mandri, the Sukhis had to be there. For Radharani, they're there. They're there to serve Radharani, basically. Although on a pretext, the pretext looks like they're outwardly serving Krishna. They're there on a mission to collect information and leave that to tell Radharani. But they're also having a good time. <laughs> they're enjoying serving Krishna. <laughs> so. Uh, With her foot, the kinkri touched a particular finger of Krishna, indicating a particular tristin kunj where he can meet his beloved Radharani. This code was previously agreed upon. The, the, elder peop the elderly people there are absorbed in speaking to each other, and no thus no one notices this exchange. This is an example of excellent service, Varadasya, because the verse about Varadasya. Nothing is, the Sakis don't do anything for their personal happiness, everything they do is for the pleasure of Yugo. Although Mandris are in the category of Sakis, they are servants because of their complete dedication to Radharani's service. You can, they can come up here and sit up. Sit on a fan. There. So that's the message, Leela. Toes and hands. <laughs> Krishna's, Krishna's hands and the Manjri's toes. <laughs>